Welcome back to Repton 2, where Repton dashes out from his start position. I have obviously sped up the uh, gameplay here because there's quite a lot of um, collecting to get through on this level. You see there's loads of dirt and diamonds around here. And basically the overall idea is still visible here. And this is a nice little uh, puzzle. You've got to get everything, even the dirt, remember, from in here without uh, dropping any of the rocks down and blocking your way off. And this is part of the reason why I sped it up, because, you know, you've got all this dirt, da 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 Repton tidies it up so well. Now, coming around to the surface of the planet, we see that there aren't any meteorites across here, which is quite handy, really. And then we make our way to a cage there. And we leave a bit of the dirt, because we need to come back here anyway. We've got a bit of a puzzle here. We can see there's a key down here, which we want to get to. And there's a egg in our way. But uh, it seems like you'd have to lure the monster onto the top of the level there. But the monsters actually won't follow you onto the top of the level. So you've got to do another trick, which is... We've got to run through the monster's egg as it's cracking, or as it's um, opening up. And that's a pretty risky way to kill it off, but as I said, the ones in Repton 2 behave differently and they're very awkward to actually try and kill. So yeah, a bit more collecting. I mean, you don't want to see this at proper speed because it's a bit like watching paint dry, really. And yes, we want to drop that one rock down in the right place, otherwise we're not going to be able to get out of here. So another Repton Shuffle necessary there, and this is quite a little puzzle room here. You can end up blocking things off if you don't do it in the correct way. So finally get that uh, diamond from there. And then rush across the top of the level again. And then pop through the transporter. Now we're back to a normal kind of speed. Now we're popping down here. Now remember this level because uh, you'll get ample chance to do so. Right, we've got a cage kind of floating in the air. We've got a rock here. Good. We'll uh, kind of sort that out. And we've got our spirit. And we can see a nice little puzzle down here of how to get to that piece there. And uh, that's at least one way to do it. And we're waiting for the spirit to come back over here. We can grab the key, there's no danger with that. And by the way, yes, if you might have noticed already, Repton's got a funny coloured head now. He's kind of gone a bit bluish. I don't know if that means he's uh, ill or whether he's feeling better, because he's looking green before. Anyway, popping through here, we end up in there, yes, sir. Okay, fine, and we'll go through there and end up with quite a few different puzzle pieces. Which is nice, we'll take those puzzle pieces. Well, you can't hear because I haven't got the sound on, is because they make a kind of bang noise when you collect them. And it's nice that the, the dirt's kind of got some nice little pattern to it, I think. It makes it a bit more interesting than just kind of dust hanging around. Now I need to unblock this cage here because we'll need to be coming back through in a bit. And this is a bit risky, but you have to do it. And sometimes the uh, spirit can follow you because it goes through the rock there and you've got to be careful when you're pushing that so it doesn't come through as well. Because obviously you die, and that's uh, not what we're aiming for here. So once the monster actually wants to cooperate with us and come to its doom, we uh, see we have to run through the little spirit enclosure again, this time not as tight. But dropping that rock down sends one going backwards because he takes a little while to come out. And 
and yes a long line of boulders I didn't go straight down from there because I didn't know if I was going to uh, get clobbered or not I didn't want to take the risk anyway does this seem a little bit familiar to you there's a possibility it's a, it's a bit familiar to uh, anybody who's just been watching the earlier part of this video I mean, obviously it should seem familiar not exactly the same but there's definitely some kind of similarity and uh, yes well obviously we've done the kind of level we saw earlier but uh, backwards and we end up up here and we can see that yep, there's still those puzzle pieces behind there taunting us can't grab them yet but then we pop into this side of the two transporters that are in here and there are some spirits quickly approaching our location so we have to get things sorted out quickly here And this is a slightly risky way to do it, but uh, we get through anyway. And uh, this is a nice thing as well. You don't want to collect that straight away, otherwise we'll block things off. And there's a little bit of a run we need to do. So we need some spirits. Say, let us through here. Thank you very much. And then uh, another spirit needed. Thank you very much too. And uh, yes, we leave that rock there because we don't want the spirit taking a long time to go around. And so we can grab our key now and uh, get some other stuff sorted out. And we unblock that cage. There's another one in here as well. And we kind of, well, I went down there a bit, collected a bit of dirt, but then, yeah, do we need to get out of there pretty quick because then these spirits quickly approach us. I'm obviously getting bored waiting inside here, running around after the spirits. But when they're gone, we can uh, grab some of the diamonds that are left behind. But we don't want to grab that one. It's uh, important to leave that in place for later on. Taking a slightly risky route, going straight ahead of that spirit. But fortunately, the meat shrike didn't get in my way too much, so I was fairly safe. And coming down here, I unblock this cage and then I kind of waste a bit of time waiting for the spirit to come back and then uh, pop up and it's gone inside the cage now. Now here, we want to arrange things right and you can kind of go in through the, the wrong way and you kind of need to balance these rocks on here and be able to get back through again because obviously there's a cage up here uh, but we can't go through this way towards it because it'll block off the route for the spirit there and then when we go through here to get to the cage it blocks our route so we have to go back underneath Nice little placement of a monster there. And of course he doesn't want to cooperate with us, they never do. But now we can pop underneath and into the last area of here. And uh, yes, you don't need to do that trick right there, but it's quite handy to save a bit of time. Now we've got a cage floating, we've got quite a lot of rocks here, and I kind of do bulge this up a little bit, but uh, nothing where I uh, can't fix things. There we go, wasn't utterly elegant but we got there 
This is why we didn't want to collect the all coming through that way, because then the um, spirit would take a, a long time to get around. And once it's gone into the cage, we can pop it in the transporter, and hmm, that's interesting. And uh, I'm getting de deja vu again. I mean, again, again. I mean, maybe before it was like deja vu, or oh, I don't know. But it was the other way around because it was backwards, and now it's oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really speak French. Well, I don't speak French at all. I only know what I learned at school. Well, I've forgotten most of that as well, so... All I remember is, uh... Je m'appelle... Well... That would be giving away the secret, wouldn't it? Anyhow... After finishing off, we end up back in our hub. And that's that for now. See you next time.